ground and uh, we were all touched by the fervor of the Vietnamese Catholic uh, Church in Vietnam. And uh, I, I would request that we move that up. Actually, if, we've been, if we are moving all of those schedules of the afternoon of Thursday, we might be free in the afternoon of Thursday. Okay, by that. Yes. So, would it be okay? Would it be okay? What do I do? So we can do that this evening. Is that alright? So So after okay, na bumi na yung yes. So yung uh, mami yung gabi na dapat ay free evening. Pwede bang ipasok na lang natin yung conversations, experiences of skill. And I would request all the priests who were present, who were in Vietnam, sit here in front so that they will do some sharings. Right? We will be calling them. First of all, them, of course, is Bishop Francis, who was our leader. Archbishop Ramon Arguelles was also with us. But I think, you know, Bishop, I think the next group who should go to Vietnam should be the catechetical coordinators. Anyway, so is, is that okay with you? Alright? Yung and then Father Tony Samora of the Archdiocese of Cebu can discuss also the concerns because uh, he wants to find out who among us will be joining the International Eucharistic Congress, especially for uh, accommodations in Cebu. You may be wondering that all the hotels are already booked. So, booked, but we would want to hear from Cebu with regards our accommodations. We would want to be placed in, in one area so that we can discuss whatever uh, thing uh, we would have to address in Cebu. So, we will move all of that Friday, um, Thursday evening. Okay, na po ba yon? Thursday afternoon to this evening. But we will also want to identify our targets for next year in the annual meeting of Catechetical Ministers, what will be our agenda, and where will our venue be. The suggestion is that we either go to Tagaytay, go back to Tagaytay at St. Paul's Alfonso, or we go to Mindanao, or go to Cebu. So that uh, if you were listening to Mother, there were few representations in Visayas and Mindanao. So if we bring the AMCM there, the catechetical directors and coordinators of the dioceses there may be more attracted to join us. So that our movement of AMCM would be the Son Visayas, Mindanao, the Son Visayas, Mindanao. Right? So it won't be difficult for the others. Okay, so kindly uh, discuss that among yourselves. So that uh, with the bishop chairman here on in the morning of Thursday, the incoming, then we should we can discuss the finer details with you. Right? May I present to you our first speaker for this conference. Our first speaker is a member of the Society of Jesus, a professor at the Ateneo de Manila University, but before that spent a lot of years in the, in the Mindanao area. 
particularly doing a great deal of dialogue between Christian, Muslims, and Lumans. We always forget that there is a third group in the Bagusamoro basic law, and that is the presence of the Lumans. And our speaker this afternoon will share with us his thoughts and reflections on the most timely encyclical letter of the present Holy Father, Pope Francis, which, of course, our speaker could not possibly exhaust because of the depth and length of such a powerful document, because one of the trends of ecological truths today is precisely our struggle with the climate change. He holds a doctorate in social anthropology at the University of London and has done extensive work, particularly in the area of Ehem, Ehem Law, <laughs> which are modules on anti-corruption. So let us please welcome in our midst a dear friend, Paring Bert Alejo. <laughs> <laughs> 